What's up, lore masters? It appears that today a teaser was released, so let's go ahead and break it down. I won't be looking at all of it because some of it I consider filler, so the full teaser is in the description below, definitely check it out. Jumping right into it, the first major sequence involves Picard with a voiceover saying that he is haunted by his past. We then get three images, one of a red planet being destroyed, one of a Borg person who I've yet to identify, and one of Data. At first I thought these might be related as some event put them all together, but ultimately I now believe they're probably separate events. Data is easy, given that the android gave his life saving Picard, you might have survivor's guilt there. The Borg specifically, we could theorize, is due to his past, dealing with being Locutus and fighting them all these years, but this is a specific Borg, and the Borg opens his eyes and looks directly into the camera. Generally, when an actor does this, that means there's some significance specifically to the Borg and not just bland historical events, so there's probably more to that than meets the eye. And then we have the planet, and this one there is some debate. Many have thought it may be Mars and Utopia Planitia under attack. This could tie in directly to the Picard Countdown comic where we know that Utopia Planitia is making tens of hundreds to thousands of ships to go to the Romulan Star Empire and help them after the Hobus event. In that comic, we learn that there's a contingent of Romulans who think that these ships are an invasion force, and we also see that they have the ability to override and take complete control of any Starfleet assets. So it's possible that these ships are co-opted somehow and they are used against the Federation. I also think that it could be the colony we see in Picard Countdown, that the Romulans utilize Federation ships to destroy the indigenous life forms there. Though more and more I think that's probably not the case, we'll likely see Mars under attack. We'll talk a bit more about that later. For now, let's just continue on. The teaser continues, giving us a shot of the Mass Effect ship Normandy over Earth, and then a shot of Seven of Nine asking Jean-Luc Picard who he is looking for, and the elderly gentleman responding he is looking for someone who has no one else to help her, with a picture of the unknown woman popping up. Again, this leads us to believe that she is captured and they have to go get her. Then we have Picard with a Federation comm badge, but wearing civilian clothes and... Uh, Guess he looks like he's asking for water? I don't... I don't get it. Next, there's a new person who appears to be dying, and this person tells Picard to find the truth. Spooky. And then, this image. So these are clearly starfighters. We see assaulting a planet in the first trailer, and now we see them attacking what appears to be a Federation facility. Either space dock or perhaps Utopia Planitia, as we've talked about. Unlike before, they are now clearly marked as Federation vessels. It's really fascinating to look at the types of beams that are clearly being used. They're red, not yellow like we see with standard phasers. Now this could be a storytelling device that's letting us know these are evil Starfleet people or that the Starfleet technology has been co-opted and continuity be fracked. But it could also indicate after the Dominion War, the Federation modified its phaser technology to be more lethal or perhaps even adopted disruptor or Polaron weaponry. Which would make sense, especially if Starfleet was accepting Romulan refugees that would help with the technology. Again, this would tie more in with the comic, where we see a lot of the Romulans are being offloaded onto Federation ships and moved elsewhere, possibly into Federation territory. On that note, here's a theory that I came up with while talking with Katwalski. We know that the Picard comics are canon. In those comics, it's stated every Romulan colony has Tal Shiar operatives walking among them. What if the Federation is accepting Romulan refugees and that means that the Tal Shiar is able to infest Starfleet? They take control of the systems, have people put in key positions, and destroy Utopia Planitia. And then, over the years, they stay in the shadows while working within Starfleet, ultimately turning the organization evil, basically becoming a Hydra of sorts. This would explain how the Romulans could attack Starfleet Command, like we see in previous trailers, and Picard, learning that Starfleet is now under the control of the Star Empire, would have to travel with the civilians and somehow show that Starfleet has been taken over. It also would tie in with what appears to be a Romulan-Starfleet alliance working on the Borg Cube. It's also possible that none of that happened, and Starfleet simply overreacts to something that occurs with the Romulans and just completely destroys a Romulan planet or installation. Though I have to be honest, I more see the writers taking the Romulans taking over Starfleet route versus Starfleet making a mistake. I don't know, it just seems more up their alley to have the Romulans be the bad guys. The last piece that seems important, to me at least, and isn't filler, is another view of the cube. But this time, the cube has green shielding. That could be reflective of the ship still utilizing Borg components, or possibly Romulan components, or it could be a fundamental change and we'll now never see blue shielding in the actual TV show. 
Honestly, in the end, it appears that this teaser just deepens the questions more than helps answer anything. But all of these are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.